On Tuesday, the Pelicans continue their pivotal series against the Winston-Salem Dash in a series that could decide the champion of the second half in the Southern Division. Let's go to the highlights. Jen Hosang took the hill. He hadn't beat Winston-Salem this year, although he had had some sensational outings. The Taiwanese right-hander, the 20-year-old, the youngest pitcher on the roster, fanned a career-high nine batters across seven innings on Tuesday, allowing two runs in the process and picking up the win. He picked up two in the first, getting Adam Engel swinging, Trey Mihalczewski swinging both on curves. In the third, play with Luis Rendon, again the curveball. Fourth inning, Mihalczewski looking, Bastos swinging on the curveball. On to the fifth, he gets three. Narvaez on the fastball, Rendon on the curveball, Engel on the curve. Eight strikeouts through five innings, and he pick up one more in the sixth. Mihai Chesky on the curve, swinging. He retired the final seven men he faced and never pitched with the lead on Tuesday, but still earned his sixth win. That's because the Pelicans rallied for four runs in the bottom half of the seventh. Six shutout innings from James Dykstra, but the bullpen would crumble against the Pelicans' attack. Back-to-back -back doubles. This one here from Jason Vossler drives in a run, putting the Pelicans on the board. They would load the bases on a walk and an infield single, and with one out, Carlos Pinalver tied the game on a bases loaded walk. Daniel Lockhart with a ground ball. They play the infield back. That'll score a run. The Pelicans lead it 3-2, to two, and they would lead the rest of the way, tacking on another run on a bases loaded hit by pitch. David Gardner went two innings on Tuesday, allowing the first two men to reach, but the final six were retired. No more Narvaez in the bottom of the ninth, popping out to finish out the ball game. Pelicans win it 4-2. They level the series against Winston-Salem and have a chance to move just a half game out of first place with a win in the rubber game on Wednesday. Myrtle Beach sends Dowry Torres to the hill, and it's a wiener Wednesday on Wednesday night, the last one of the year, chance for some two-for-one hot dogs. We send it out to Hannah, who will tell you more. Thanks, Nathan. Wednesday is Wiener Wednesday. That's right, fans. That means buy one hot dog, get one free all night long. So come on out and enjoy some baseball and some delicious hot dogs. We'll see you at the ballpark.